It feels reliable, it's pretty, it's safe. This car is gonna get you from point A to point B. <laughs> your perceived competition. Not your actual competition, because I bet you think you know who those are already. Your perceived competition, because if you're anything like credit unions, you're probably losing tons of business to your perceived competition for one simple reason, and you don't even know it. So today on The Loyalty Loop, we're gonna go back to a few weeks ago when I asked and you answered. We wanna switch banks. So what bank do you trust with your money? Thank what? you to all of my Loyalty Loop subscribers for all the great bank and credit union suggestions. I so appreciate it. Yes, after I shared my terrible experience with our big bank, so many of you suggested we should check out a credit union because you're so passionate about the personalized experience those credit unions give you. So, I did. I went online to compare the big bank that I hate to the credit unions that you said you loved. And this is where I hit a perception wall. A perception wall is like that. It's a wall. A really solid objection that the consumer gets in their mind just from the impression they get from your website. To illustrate, let's take a look at my big bank, which is, which is this car, but it's a big bank. <laughs> You'll notice the car is big, it's slick, it's fancy, it's nicely finished, it's even got a leather interior in here. This car is pretty and safe and it's reliable. This car is gonna get you from A to B, and I bet if you look under the hood, there's a bunch of moving parts. This car looks like it's well-engineered. This is the perception you get when you surf those big bank websites. Reliable, safe. Like this website you're looking at right now from Capital One. It's exactly like my big bank. It looks exactly like this car, which is not what I want. I don't want another big bank. So I start checking out all the credit union websites, like this. And this is my perception of their experience. Their websites feel pedal powered and rinky dink and they're flimsy. It feels like there's nothing under the hood. There's, it's, they're, they're old and tired. Now I have no idea if this is true or not, but let's just compare one specific example. Check out Capital One's page just about their mobile app. It feels like this. It feels like this car. This car has power windows, power seats, I'm reclining. It even has features it looks like I'll never use, like this thing. You can just kick the back and the door opens. I never use that, but it's cool. Now let's look at my perception of the only website from a credit union that I looked at that had pictures on their page about their mobile app. My perception is that it's pretty, lame. I mean, it might get from point A to point B, but it doesn't seem like the steering wheel does much. Here's the one simple reason you may be losing customers to your perceived competition every single day. There's a sophistication gap. A sophistication gap is just a crevice separating the perception of your company's degree of refinement from the competition. You see, big banks look well thought out. They look reliable, they look credible, and they look sophisticated and refined. Every single credit union I looked at seemed to be the complete opposite. They look simple and flimsy and crude and outdated. You see, if credit unions want to win over business from big banks, all they have to do is look just as sophisticated but they don't. By the way, none of this has helped me find a new financial institution, but I hope it helps you. Take a second and look at your perceived competition. Ask yourself, is there a sophistication gap with our potential target market? If so, close it, close it. It's slow, just like this electronic closer, but you've got to close the perception gap. There's another problem with every single credit union website I visited, and it's a problem I see marketers like us execute every single time. Next week, I'll tell you what the problem is, and I'll show you how you can address it immediately. If you don't want to miss that episode of The Loyalty Loop, you can subscribe right here. I'll send you The Loyalty Loop one day before everybody else in the world. In the meantime, I'm going to get out my little credit union car and drive around the neighborhood. I'll see you next week in my loyalty loop. Come on, flimsy car. Here we go.